In 1908, the Daily Mail announced a prize of 500 pounds to the first person to cross the English Channel in an airplane from either direction. The prize was issued in October and was only valid through the end of the year, so very few serious considerations were made to attempt the trip. In 1909, however, the prize was doubled and several aviators began preparations to attempt a channel crossing, including the Wright brothers. A French aviator named Hubert Latham began an attempt on July 19th of 1909, but about six miles short of crossing, lost his engine and made the first sea ditching of an aircraft in history. Enter Louis Blériot, French engineer and businessman who invented automotive headlamps that had given him a cash flow to fund his aviation endeavors since 1905. After Latham's crash landing at sea, Blériot scrambled his team into action to attempt a trip over the channel. Three days later, Blériot's team was set up and waiting and Latham had received a replacement aircraft. Both were poised to attempt the trip but delayed due to weather in the area. On on July 25th, just after sunrise, Blario launched and began flying towards the English coast. During the flight, he dealt with low visibility, causing challenges to his orientation, but eventually he found the coast of Dover. The aircraft impacted too hard on landing, resulting in damage to the gear and one propeller broken, but firmly solidifying his place in history as the first man to cross the English Channel in an airplane.